Hello friends, welcome to Insights Icon Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about five topics as a part of the current issues. Now, before we discuss about all these five topics, first let us examine today's topic of the day. In today's theme of the day, we are going to discuss about drainage system which is in geography, how the questions can be framed and what areas you have to focus in this particular topic. Every year at least one question is appearing in exam from the topic of drainage system. Mainly, in this particular topic, you have to concentrate on river and river origin and river mouth okay? and river tributaries and their drainage basin. Especially, now the Kaveri river dispute is going on between the Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. So, you have to be very sure about tributaries of river Kaveri and the famous places related to that particular river, dams related to that particular river. Previously, they given uh, dams on one side of the column and the other side of the column, they given the state like Gataprabha, Indira Sagar, like that. So, you have to know about the dam as well as the state. And apart from that, you should have a fair idea about waterfalls which is forming on particular rivers and their unique features such as for example rift valley river west flowing river like these kind of things okay and canyons uh, last time i mean 2022 i think so 2022 i think so uh, gandikota canyon it is from andhra pradesh they ask the canyon is related to which river if any one of you are from ap try to answer that question gandikota canyon is related to which river so this is sample question consider the following rivers Barak, Lohit and Subansiri. Which of the following flows through Arunachal Pradesh? See, they are asking the question, the river which is related, related to particular state. The Lohit as well as Subansiri it goes through Arunachal Pradesh and don't worry about the answer. Try to understand how the questions are being framed in the examination so that you will understand the pattern of the question. Now these five things, these are the five issues we are going to discuss. First one is Article 142 of the Indian Constitution, GS2 Polity, Bedouin Arabs, GS2 IR, Israel-Palestina related, International Migration Outlook 2023, this has been published by OECD, Sea Cucumbers, recently few people who are smuggling Sea Cucumbers, they have been arrested by police, Marine Police and Chandrayaan 4. And we will discuss uh, anyhow this Chandrayaan 4. Tell me students, which country is in collaboration with India? So India and which country is collaborating in Chandrayaan 4? Put your answer in the comment section. First, Article 142. First topic is, you know, recently Supreme Court used Article 142 even in the case of divorce as well. When two people mutually consent to each other, they don't need to wait for six months. So they can get the orders from the court and Supreme Court can use this kind of uh, powers under Article 142. Now, in today's uh, video, we are discussing because Supreme Court recently directed that sale of the ancestral property of a man to pay maintenance arrears of around 1.25 crores to his wife by using its special power under Article 142. You know, actually, according to Hindu Marriage Act, when divorce happens, actually, it depends on the husband or wife, it depends on who is earning as well as the other person, the spouse who don't have any livelihood opportunities in that condition, one has to pay the maintenance to other. In this condition, husband supposed to pay the maintenance to the wife, but he did not pay and Supreme Court directed that he can sell his ancestral property and he can pay that arrears are of around 1.25 crores. So obviously this is one of the safeguards provided to uh, women especially through Hindu Marriage Act so that they cannot be estranged by their husbands in a unilateral way. Article 142. Article 142 will be invoked by Supreme Court especially when a particular person did not get justice through any legal remedies in that extraordinary condition to do a complete justice, Supreme Court will use Article 142. And of course, it is a special and extraordinary powers of the Supreme Court. And Article 142 allows Supreme Court to do the justice in exceptional cases. If you remember, in uh, Raju Gandhi assassination case, Supreme Court used and Article 142 and it released Perari Valen and remaining other six convicts because they did not get the complete justice according to Supreme Court observations. And the existing provisions are any law which are violating the Article 142, those laws will be invalid as well. So Article 142, that is judicial precedent, it takes sup supremacy over the law made by the legislature. And very popularly, Supreme Court invoked Article 142 in the case of Babri Masjid case where it allocated Ram Janmabhumi that Babri Masjid that disputed area to the temple 
and bhopal gas statutory as well the case name is union carbide versus government of india in the supreme court intervened and it provided compensation to the victims of related to this tragedy by using this article 142 that is about the topic number one next second topic second topic is bedouin arabs why we are discussing about this bedouin arabs normally arab as well as the islamic word generally they stand with the palestine but in this this particular tribes they are supporting the jews they are giving intelligence information to jews against this palestine and even the uh, the people who are who lost their life in supporting the israel for those people they even the israel government constructed memorial as well so that means these are some uh, particularly the speciality out of all the arabs let's see these are the local israels i mean local israels expressing their gratitude to bedouin arabs for putting their effective defense against hamas fighters okay against hamas fighters these people are helping out of course they formed one military organization as well we will discuss okay these are nomadic muslim arabs mainly they are the pastoralists and they mainly uh, located near negev desert it is present between the saudi arabia and sinai peninsula so this is the area and they they are pop their population is around 210000 that is 210000 they played very significant role in arab israel war in this war they given significant intelligence input to israel government and in that context they also formed idf that is israel defense force okay this israel defense force also played very crucial role in this particular arab israel war 1948-49 next international migration outlook 2023 first you have to understand who released this this is released by oecd which stands for organization for economic cooperation and development of course india is not a member of the oecd that you have to understand according to this report india witnessed one of the highest migration to oecd countries between 21 22 along with india countries like uzbekistan and some other countries also have witnessed and apart from this regular migration ukraine also witnessed a lot of migration from ukraine to other countries because of the russia ukraine war in terms of nationalities around 0.13 millions of indian citizen they acquired the nationality of oecd you know that as soon as someone acquired the citizenship of other country they lose the indian citizenship which article of the indian constitution prohibit the dual citizenship put your answer in the comment section okay next inflow of refugee from ukraine is also very high due to russia ukraine war and in terms of workers migration to oecd from india increase of around 172 percentage uzbekistan 122 and turkey from these countries highest migration is observed to the oecd countries about oecd oecd is a group which consists of around 38 countries and their main idea is supporting of democracy as well as market economy they typically these are the democratic countries remember these are the democratic country majorly they support the free market economy they are not much related to socialist economy or the communist economy it formed in 1960 by around 18 european nation plus us as well as the canada later its strength increased over the period of time what is the main goal the main goal is to help to each other in terms of prosperity equality opportunity and well-being for all so this is a kind of union of the western european countries as well as us and canada later of course it expanded to 38 countries it publishes various other reports as well such as economic reports statistical database and forecast on the outlook of the economic growth and this organization mainly it seeks the elimination of the bribery as well if any country is not cooperating to the values of oecd not encouraging the fair market practices then their country will be flagged as blacklist as well and countries will be put under blacklist even if they behave as a tax havens like i said earlier india is not a member of the oecd and oecd headquarters are located in paris france next the fourth one is sea cucumber you know few people they are illegally exporting they are illegally doing trade in terms of the sea cucumber actually sea cucumber are the echinodermata family okay and they play a very important role in the decomposition of the organic substances under ocean 
so because of this they play very crucial role in the this uh, decomposition cycle and apart apart from that they are, their excretion also involves a lot of you know like alkaline substances this also reduces the acidity of the ocean water because of these various benefits they play very significant role in the aquatic ecosystem let's see why it is in use indian coast guard arrested 12 people for smuggling sea cucumbers they comes under echinodermata and the body appears like a cucumber and of course they also have tentacles like structure tentacles like structure like a starfish okay tentacles like a fingers to our wrist habitats they present on the they found on the sea floor that means they are the benthic animals diet they are scavengers they play very important role in the decomposition of organic matters and their excretion also increases the sea water alkalinity which act as a which act like a buffer to the ocean acidification uses even they play very significant role in the medicinal value as well as especially in the asian and middle east countries countries like china and thailand threats due to their due to the high demand in medicine there is a lot of scope for smuggling of these organisms let's see the conservation status under the wildlife protection act 1972 they put under appendix 2 of this act and they are also classified as endangered species under sites since 2020 you know that sites will regulate the international trade in terms of the endangered species the fifth topic is chandrayaan 4 let's see which country is collaborated with india you know that chandrayaan 4 is india and japan collaboration we are doing this program and the main purpose of this program is exploring the water availability in the south pole of the moon you know that south pole of the moon is always on the dark side and permanently uh, very less temperature so there is a chance that i water can be accumulated in the form of the ice in this particular project india is uh, designing the lander whereas the launch vehicle as well as the rover they are going to be designed by the japan the low temperatures in the south pole is one of the challenge for this mission india is already riding on the success of the chandrayaan 3 you know that chandrayaan 1 as well as success, success 2 but chandrayaan 2 we are unable to do the soft landing that was one of the glitch to isro in terms of the chandrayaan the name of the mission lipex this is the chandrayaan for in collaboration between the india and japan it is going to land the moon south pole it is going to provide information regarding the water availability this lipex stands for lunar polar exploration mission it is a joint venture between the isro as well as the jaxa which stands for japan aerospace exploration agency the scheduled launch of this mission is in 2026 or later objectives already we discussed presence of to discover the presence of water in the south pole which is trapped in the form of ice because this particular region is permanently under shadows isro is providing the responsibility regarding the lander whereas the launch vehicle that is h3 launch vehicle as well as the rover they are going to be provided by the japan complexity of the mission the south pole is under very cold region withstanding that extreme temperature is one of the challenge regarding this particular mission the discovery of the water is also going to help to establish the permanent research base in the south pole of the moon as well so our you know like once water availability is confirmed and the quantity of the water availability is also confirmed our future prospects prospects on the moon is also can be improved then yesterday's video on the basis of criteria issued by the election commission of india what is the minimum number of state in which a political party must be recognized to be termed as national party to become national party a particular party should be recognized as a state party at least in four states four states of course there are some other qualifications also there we are not discussing that now next question today's question with reference to constitution of india prohibition or limitations or provisions contained in ordinary laws cannot act as a prohibitions or limitations on the constitutional powers under article 142 it could mean which of the following this question is based on article 142 carefully read these three statements and the fourth statement in this particular slides and try to pick the right answer students main question what is india's plans to have its own space station the main question is 
own space station based question and how will it benefit our space program how it is going to help to reach our aspirations if you are interested try to attempt this main answer as well now as we reach to the end of this video in this particular video we mainly focused on five particular current issues one is article 142 second bidonian arabs third one international migration outlook fourth one seeking gumbas and the fifth one is chandrayaan 4 this is the detailed analysis regarding the current issues of today's topics